What is up YouTube? It's your boy Matthew Trey and today we're back with another video and I'm going to take you along a day in the life of a Bible college student. So if you're new to the channel, this is a Christian channel. We just make Christian content, make it fun, make it godly and yeah. So let's go ahead. We about to hit the gym. Running a little late, but hey, we just got ab day. It's going to be quick and easy and then we're going to get straight to class. So let's go. Come on. All right, so we just pulled up to the gym, and the school I go to is called Rama Bible Training College, and I live on campus basically. And the gym is about 60 seconds away, so it's a great thing. So let's walk up in here. I got some people waiting on me. They probably already done working out. So let's go. Come on, Preston. Come on now. <laughs> Ab day is the worst day. All right, we are all fitted. We are on the way. Yo, I'm, I'm peeping, you know. Okay, so I'm slight, you know. All right, we are on the way to our first class called Bible Interpretation. So let's head there and we'll film some more. Let's go. What is your favorite thing about Raymond Bible Training College? Uh, I would have to say getting the fellowship of people Come that on. are on the same walks of God with me. Come on. And it's a, it's a different type of relationship than a than a, I guess you could say an earthly school would be. Because everybody's on the same walk of God. Maybe not the same path, but the same walk of God. And they all Amen. believe in the same thing that you believe. Amen. How about you, Presley? Favorite thing about Raymond Bible Training College? Can I follow up with that? My favorite thing would probably be community. Community, okay. Just me and people from all over the world, to be honest, bro. Yeah, yeah. And just daily word, daily, just being poured into every day. Yeah, yeah. That's my favorite thing, bro. Amen. Well, mine, I would say, <laughs> my favorite thing about Raymond Bible Training College, the word every day, it's tough, but like it really pushes you to really seek the Lord. And it's just like you're, you're all, always around God. You're always around the, spirit, the presence of God, always around his word. And the fellowship is amazing. Like community is key. Like there's always something to do at Raymond. And volleyball, basketball, we got <laughs> coming up. Like it's going to be fun. So uh, there's always something to do. So that's what it is. All right, we just finished Bible interpretation. We are on the way to Angels and Demons class, fire class. Hey, yo, Caleb, what's your favorite thing about Bible college? Just getting the word all day. Come on. You need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I don't need it. All right, Jordan, what's your favorite thing about Raymond Bible Training College? My favorite thing will be playing in the hallways. Just answer the question, okay? Please don't play with me right now. Playing in the hallways? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What the heck? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it would be any class with Dean Tad, really. Dean Tad, really? I was going to say Doug Jones. Doug Jones. Any class with Dean Tad or Doug Jones. Doug Jones. I love his teaching style. It's amazing. Okay. All right, we are on the way to Exaltation. Basically, every Tuesday, we go to the main church and we all worship the Lord and we pray. And then we go back to third class, third, third hour, and then we end the day. So we're about to go up in here, get some worship on, get some prayer time, and then we all good to go. Jesus Christ! I love you, God! Yeah, I'm true! Jesus Christ! minute and 45 seconds what's your favorite thing about exaltation joe Every praise and worship the rhema song the rhema song mm -hmm. oh yeah on the other hand god always stay moving like god be moving in exaltation so every tuesday i'm always excited for tuesday to be because we get to worship and get time to pray so it's always it's a win-win Oh, <laughs> and 
now we are going to the next class, last class of the day, called Gifts of the Spirit. <laughs> last class of the day. All right, Devon? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. All right, so school is over for today. It's currently 12 o'clock, and we started at 8.30, finished at 12 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I got work at 5, but... We got a hoop session coming up in about two hours, so I'm gonna head up over there. Uh, I'm gonna go get something to eat, and then do some work at home, do some content, and we'll go from there. So I wrote this on my car so that everybody would know that Jesus is cool for me. When I was doing drugs and partying all the time, like I had no true happiness, like no, no true peace. But ever since I came to know Jesus and got a relationship with him, I'm like, man, this is the best, this is the best decision I've ever made in my whole life. Like, there's no place I'd rather be, there's no body I'd rather know or be in a relationship with than to know our creator. Ask yourself, do you know who love is? Do you know God? Do you know peace? Do you know joy? Do you know Jesus? And it's the best thing you could ever do, I'm telling you. And one thing I always tell people is to give Jesus a shot. Like you giving everybody a chance in your life. You giving the, you tried the drugs, you tried, you tried the alcohol, you tried the party, you tried all this stuff to find peace, to find love. You tried the relationships, but I just ask him. I just tell him. I'm like, just give Jesus a shot. Like if he's real, if you believe that he's risen from the dead, that means he's alive in heaven, and that if he's alive, you can have a relationship with him. And I just tell people like, try him out. Like, seek God, read your Bible, pray for like a month or two. And like, truly try and get to know him and see your life change. Like, see your heart change, see, see the difference. You know what I'm saying? When you draw near to God, he will draw near to you. If you learn about God, learn about Jesus, not just in a theological way, but in a heart-to-heart -heart relationship way, try that out. Try that out. All righty. We are leaving the cribbo to go to the basketball court to hoop up a little bit. Fit for the day. Last time there was two little kids there. I got the chance to minister to them. They was they was talking like man, they was, they was talking crazy. But uh, I got an opportunity to share my testimony with them. They was like 14 and 13. Man, God was moving for real. But yeah, man, this is a day in the life of a Bible college student. And it's chill. It's uh, it's amazing. I'm grateful. You know, so I get to go to college. I get to be where I'm at today, and I got everything I need. Like, I got more than, more than everything I need. I, I got so much. I'm just so blessed and so thankful. You know, I may not have a lot to other people, but you know, to some other people, I got a lot. So it's just like being grateful for that. Being grateful for everything God has placed in front of me to be a good steward over and that's like it's key is being a good steward over everything God has placed in front of you is uh definitely a responsibility and definitely whenever you, you, you I fall short it's just correction like God corrects me and like Matthew you can do better with you know what I'm saying taking care of your your possessions and stuff like that and yeah so I wish I could jam out with you guys because if you know me I love my car sessions, I love my music, I love jamming out, uh, but I can't do that because I'll get copyrighted, I ain't trying to get copyrighted, so, uh, love you guys, see you guys at the basketball court, okay, let's go.
all right you guys that wraps us up we are done i just got back from the hoop session had fun got some cardio in hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlog of a day in the life of a bible college student but with that being said make sure you subscribe make sure you like the video and yeah we're out of here let's go